Hello everyone, this is Tyler here. It is October 10th today. I'm, I'm just going to discuss why younger MGTOW guys shouldn't go to a country simply for a woman. Eastern Europe is a huge region for foreign guys from all over the world to pursue marriage and dating and these sort of matters. And it, it's a very good place in general. I think um, there's great countries. I always advise people to stick more to the non-EU Eastern European countries, but some of the EU countries are decent also. I do think though that if you're moving to this region of the world, especially if you're from say North America or South America, don't simply come here for the sake of a woman, especially if it's a woman that you met in that home country where, where you were living. You're, you're better off going to one of these countries because you like the lifestyle you you can see yourself living here you can establish a great lifestyle for yourself because that should be first and foremost it's, it's been very common for men to come to these countries to be with a certain woman that they may have met online they may have met in their home country they may have met when they were traveling in that country there's many situations here. While I think there's exceptions where it, it can work, I don't think often it's a wise ideal, especially for younger guys. Guys under the age of 30, it, you, you definitely want to look at this situation and ask yourself if this is definitely a situation where you want to really know that it, it's the right thing to do. Because when you, you make a big move, this will leave a big impact on your life what happens in the future what one has to understand though is it's very different if you meet someone on a short-term basis say you're traveling or the person's briefly in your home country or you meet them online the picture that they portray can be very different than what you actually see in real life day-to-day -day life routines the situation could be much different than you perceive also you you may realize you don't really like the way of life in some of these countries you you may not like the overall culture how you're treated your economic options your employment options and maybe just the lifestyle may not be very comfortable i actually knew a guy for example he was from colombia and he was living and studying in russia I think it was in central Russia. This fellow was had been in Russia for about three, three and a half years. And while he had a girlfriend, he was a student at an engineering university. It wasn't a country that he saw himself long term. And, and this fellow wasn't very old. He was only about 28 years old when I met him. It had put a lot of stress on his body, a lot of strain. He, he wasn't used to the Russian weather system and j just the overall culture difference being in Russia compared to in Colombia. And when I inquired to him about his, his situation, if, if he would stay there after he finished school, he, he said probably not. He, he just couldn't see himself physically lasting there. And I think this is a, a, a I mean, this just demonstrates what I'm discussing here. He looked like he had been under a lot of stress the past few years in Russia in the time that he was a student but i will note in his situation he did come as a student he didn't meet a a woman prior he he was he came to russia to pursue a master's degree in engineering and that's precisely what he did and then he he met a girlfriend so in his circumstance it was kind of a win-win situation but he also realized that he couldn't just simply live in a country because he had met this girl that was from there although it was very positive in that sense it was difficult to say whether that girl would be willing to leave her country because many russian women contrary to what mainstream media will tell you do not want to leave russia they may go somewhere short term to travel or study or work but often decide to come back and live in, in russia or if they're from ukraine they go back and live in ukraine this is very common this is why as a man though you, you have to ask yourself these questions and realize that there's a lot more to living in country than just a woman you you'll realize too as a younger guy that perhaps if you don't have a lot of dating experience in your home country you're from canada us you go for like six months to a year after being in a relationship for six months or so especially if you're a MGTOW type guy you may realize it's not really that big of a deal you you may just realize that you're actually limiting your career options you may have more opportunities back at home and then realize that the relationship really wasn't worth it especially in the situation where the other person or you or both people don't want to pursue marriage you don't want to have children in, in this situation you may realize what well, why am i in this country this 
isn't really compatible for my long-term ambitions and goals. If you're honest with yourself, you'll make the right decision here. Realize also for the woman, it's not like a very big sacrifice on your behalf. Just think about when you're in your home country. I think about when I'm in my home country back in America. If I met a foreign person like in Chicago, I was very respectful and I would often enjoy talking to them and we would sometimes do activities together but at the end of the day i realized i was in my home country this person was not and i took that into consideration it, it was very different the perspective here i mean if the something went wrong with that person i could still come home or still go and, and i would have like my parents i would have siblings and other family nearby or in other friends that I could go and talk to. I could just drive to a friend's house and we, we could just hang out. It wasn't like this for that foreign person. Just as it's not like that for me as a foreign person here in Estonia, I don't have that kind of luxury. So it's very different when you're in your own habitat, your own comfort zone. And that is definitely so for this woman that they're in their home country, they don't really aren't sacrificing a lot. They still have their network of people around you. And remember that women tend to have bigger networks nearby to them than men do. And I think they have networks that are more engaged with them. People that are more willing to drop everything at a moment's notice to, to meet them or if there, there's a problem. Men don't tend to have this as much. And especially if you're a foreign person in a country, even less so in this situation. And that's why I said you have to look at the holistic picture of what you're doing in that country if it's compatible with your long-term ambitions because it may be like a year two years and then you just are like i'm tired of this you you may be pursuing a very good lifestyle career in that country but just decide it's not for you living there and then leave and go back and if you had left a career a job a business in your home country you may then have to restart over which will obviously come at a price and, and will be very challenging. So b before you go that route of, of moving, just look at the whole situation and see if it's compatible with your long-term plans living in that foreign country. And as in anything else, understand what you want, but also do get some input from family that you trust, from friends, and, and get their, their feedback on it, on the situation. You you could also travel to a country if you haven't been there. Take a, a long extended trip, like a three week trip, and, and see how, how you feel about the place. Because if you've never been to the country and you realize when you get there you don't really like it, you're definitely not going to like it long term. And, and then you'll realize that this is not for you. That may mean breaking up with the girl, mutually agreeing that the relationship is over, but that's probably a better situation than what, what could play out if you ended up moving there. You gotta be honest with yourself. This is my input here on this topic and I look forward to your feedback below, thank you.